Estoy viendo allá en Pachagua. Vamos a la clase. Hello, good evening, everyone. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you doing? How is the conversation? No, 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 not the previous conversation. At this time, yes, we have that recorded. But the previous one, no, not possible. <laughs> Thank you. The recording begins at this moment. <laughs> How are you doing today, people? Excellent. Fine. 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 Thank Fine. you. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you so much for your confirmation. I appreciate your punctuality to be here in the class. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's see, I have a lot of people at this moment. That's fine. Thank you, thank you, thank you. At this moment, as always, you know, uh, we're going to check on the attendance. So please, when you listen to your name, make a verbal confirmation that you are here in this video conference, right? You say present and I listen and I check on your attendance at this moment, All right? right? Let me get started. At this moment, let's see, uh, Alejandra Gabriela Perez. Alejandra Gabriela Pérez, not at this moment. Ana Guadalupe Fuentes. Present. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's see. Uh, Azucena Enriquez de López. Present. Brian Joel Morrodas. Brian Joel Rodas. All right, I continue. Carolina Abigail Vasquez. Present. Thank you so much. Cindy Tatiana Vasquez. Present. Thank you. Cira Berfalia Aguilar. Present. Thank you, thank you. Claudia Elizabeth Martinez. Present. Thank you. Erika Vanessa Marroquín. Nos preguntamos si podríamos abrir unos minutos para acordar una reunión cuando sería esa. Uh, Esmeralda Janet Méndez. Present teacher. So much. Evelyn Abigail Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Fátima del Carmen Amaya. Present. Thank you. Giselle Marie Hernandez. Present. Thank you. Thank you. Indira Nirvana Hernandez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Ana, let's see. Ana Ivania Guevara. Ana Ivania Guevara. All right, probably not at this moment. Jose Hernan Maravilla. Probably not at this time. Thank you. Josue Abraham López. Josue Abraham López. Not at this moment. Carla Guadalupe Pacheco. Thank you. Thank you. Carla Lizette Méndez. Uh, on the audio, please. Thank you. There is some feedback. Please check on your microphones. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Check in por ahí. Tal vez si alguien está escuchando por bocinas, nos da retroalimentación. Así que pedirle su colaboración con su micrófono, por favor. I continue. Luis Daniel. Present teacher. Thank you. Madeline Beatriz Morán. Present. Thank you so much. Sí. María José Sandoval. María José Sandoval. Not at this moment. Mariana Dolores Moreno. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Marlon Napoleón Fuentes. Present. Thank you. Uh, Rina Estela García. Present. Thank you. Uh, Rolando Guzmán Revelo. Present teacher. Thank you. Ruth Stephanie Meléndez. 
present. Thank you so much. Sandra Marisol Campos. Present. Thank you. Tito Alberto Hernández. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. And Xiomara Alejandra Marroquín. Present, teacher. Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much for your confirmation to this video conference. Let me let me work. Let me check on my presentation so we can get started on this info. Remember, uh, that is the commercial. Remember, please to continue working in the platform. If possible, you can uh, you can work even in the next unit so you can have information and you have you have some idea about what we are talking about in the class. So my suggestion for you, work, work and work in the platform, please. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, let me get my presentation ready. Here it is. Okay. Today we have session number six, and that is for the module that you know, the beginner module number one. At this moment, we're going to get started with some information for, in this case, we're going to work with uh, scrambled questions. You are going to see the elements of the questions, but they are not in order. Your responsibility is to see, right, to see and think about the correct order for yes, no questions. We do the first one as a class, as an and as an example. Check on this part. We have different elements from you, San Miguel, are. Finally, we have a question mark. All of these are questions, right? No affirmative sentences, no negative questions. Tell me what should be the correct order for a question using these elements. You are, are you from San Miguel? Are you from, are San, you Miguel? from San Miguel? Are you from San Miguel? Thank are you. you. Are you from San Miguel? Perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank are you so much. Thanks. Perfect, perfect. In this case, you are correct, people. Thank you so much. You remember on the order for the question, we begin with the verb to be. Verb to be, subject, and then the complement. Are you from San Miguel? Right? And then we have the information. And just to practice on this info, I am going to ask this question so we can start with a speaking practice on this, uh, on this evening. And I ask one, the same question to, this per, to a person at this moment. Let me see my list. And I make a selection at this moment. All right, perfect. Uh, Luis Daniel Rosa, are you from San Miguel? Possible answers, yes, I am. No, I am not. Luis Daniel? Um, no, I am not. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Rina Estela Garcia, are you from San Miguel? Estela Garcia? Hello, hello. Check on the microphone. Uh, no, I am not from San Miguel. All right. No, I am not. Thank you so much. And the same question to a final person to participate, Ana Guadalupe Fuentes. Are you from San Miguel? No, I am not from San Miguel. Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let's continue working as a class at this moment. Check on the elements for the next question. We have the elements, name, your, is, and Juan, remember, it's a question. Tell me, people, what should be the correct order for this info? Is your name Juan? Is your name Juan? Is your name Juan? Is your name Juan? Thank you. Is your name Juan? Thank you. Is your name Juan? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And I continue asking on this question to some people. Let's see. Let me see it for a boy at this moment. Uh, let's see. Tito, is your name Juan, Tito? No, it's my name Juan. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. In this case, when we talk about something that is not human, we need to use the pronoun it. 
right? Because we're talking about the name. You are correct, right? Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Talking about the answers. Because we're talking about something. Estamos hablando de algo, en este caso, el nombre. El nombre sí le pertenece a usted, ¿verdad? Y usted es una persona, obviamente. Pero el nombre es algo no animado, ¿verdad? No humano. Por eso utilizamos it, right? Yes, it is. No, it isn't, right? Mr. Rolando, tell me, Rolando, is your name Juan? No, I'm not. No, it is not. No, it is not. Mm -hmm. No, it is not. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Remember, something that is not animated. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let's see, I ask on the other question, right? And at this moment, I will check on the last name for this participation, right? Voy a modificar un poquito la pregunta y voy a hacerla basada en el apellido. Check on this one. Azucena, is your last name Flores? No, it is not. No, it is not. Thank you. Thank you so much. Correct answer. Correct answer. Let me see. Carolina Abigail, is your last name Colocho? No, it is not. All right. No, it is not. Thank you. Let me ask another person. Uh, Marlon Napoleon, is your last name Fuentes? Yes. It is last name. Right. Yes, it is my last name. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Now we continue with more practice and more questions. Check on this one. Your rock is music favorite. Correct order? Is your is your Thank you. Thank you so much for your participation. I listen to many options, right? I listen to many options. At this moment, we discover what the correct option is. Right? Let's see who got it, right? Vamos a ver quién le pegó a la respuesta, right? Let's see. Is rock, is rock your favorite music? Right? Okay. In this case, the possible answer, yes, it is, because we're talking about something, music, right? Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Right? And I am going to ask the question to some of you in this class. Indira, Hello, Miss Indira. Is rock your favorite music? No, it isn't. No, it isn't. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. I continue asking Evelyn, Evelyn Abigail, is rock your favorite music? Listen, mm -hmm. uh huh? Is rock your favorite music, Miss Evelyn? Hello, hello. We cannot listen to you. Check on the microphone, please. No le escuchamos, Miss Evelyn. No sé si podemos ahí chequear su micrófono, por favor, please, please. Yes, it is. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for the answer. I continue asking. And at this moment, I am going to change on the music genre. Voy a cambiar el género de música. But we continue with the same question. Let's see. Um, Giselle Hernandez. Miss Giselle, tell me. Is uh, salsa your favorite music? Yes, it is. Wow. Oh, surprise. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good job. Carla Guadalupe Pacheco, tell me, is bachata your favorite music? No, it is. No, it isn't. All right. No, it isn't. Thank you. Esmeralda Janet, tell me, is banda your favorite music? 
No, it isn't. You say, no, no. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> thank you. It depends on preference, right? It's about preference, but thank you. Puede que a alguien le guste, eso no hay problema, ¿verdad? But for you, no, it isn't. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, perfect. Let's continue with the other question to check on this information. Take a look at the elements. In, happy, you, English, class, are, the. What should be the correct order for this question? Are you happy? Are, are, are they in the English class? Are, 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 are the English class? Are you happy in the English class? In the English class. Are you happy in the English class? Are you happy in the English class? Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much, people. You are correct. I listen to your versions and all your versions are okay. Thank you. Check on this one. Are you happy in the English class? And I am going to ask the question. Yes, I am or no, I am not, right? Let's listen to the answers. Madeline, are you happy in the English class, Madeline? Yes, I am. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sira Bervale Aguilar, are you happy in the English class? Yes, I am. I am happy in the English class. Thank you. Very complete answer. Thank you. Sandra Marisol, what about you? Are you happy in the English class? Yes, I am happy. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I will change on the adjective to continue practicing, right? Uh, I will change the question. Voy a cambiar un poquito la pregunta y voy a, ocupar, voy a ocupar otro adjetivo, ¿verdad? Ya no vamos a tener complemento. In the English class. Ruth Stephanie, are you hungry? Right? Are you hungry at this moment? You need no, food? I'm not. I am no, not. I'm not. Thank you so much. Xiomara Alejandra, are you angry? Are you angry at this moment, Xiomara? No, I'm not. I'm not. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Erika Vanessa Marroquín. The question, are you sleepy? <sighs> sleepy? Are you sleepy? Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> thank you. And everybody like, yes, teacher. <laughs> thank you. It's possible. It's possible. But thank you so much for the effort. Thank you so much. Ya les pasé, eh, ya les pasé, ¿verdad? Como estaba haciendo la demanda, ya había algunos que se les pegó ahí. <laughs> A chain reaction, una reacción en cadena. All right, but no, no, no. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you for the effort in this practice. Thank you, everyone. And good job. Perfect. At this moment, we continue checking on extra information. And at this moment, hello, hello. Check on the microphone, please, please, please. Check on that one. I need your collaboration. Please, 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 to double check. Siempre pedirle su colaboración con el micrófono. No sé si en algunas veces se activa automático o sin querer le damos a activar. Así que solo pedirle su colaboración, por favor. Ah, sí, los compañeros logran escuchar muy bien lo que estamos eh, explicando, ¿verdad? Y usted, igualmente usted. Check on this one. We have the different numbers at this moment. And I am going to begin reading the information about the numbers. Listen to this, right? We have 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, right? The first column. Ya terminamos la primera columna. Check on the next one. We have in the, in the other column, we have 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, right? And then we go for the last column, the last column. And I need the collaboration of Josue Abraham to read the first two. Vamos a, le voy a pedir a Josue Abraham que lea los primeros dos de la columna de la derecha. Sería 40 y 50. Josue, I listen to you. 40, 50. 40, 50, thank you so much. And I need the collaboration at this moment 
of, let's see, let me see a person, of Claudia Martinez, the next two. Los siguientes dos, Miss Claudia, please. Sixty, seventy. Thank you. Six, seventy. Thank you, thank you. For the next two vocabulary words about numbers, I need the collaboration of Carolina Abigail Vasquez. Please. The next two numbers, please. Eighty, ninety. Eighty, ninety. Thank you. Perfect, perfect. Tito, the next numbers, please, Mr. Tito. Okay, uh, 100, 101. All right, thank you so much. In this case, when you talk about the quantity hundreds, it is possible to say 101 or the other version 101. The information in parentheses is optional. It depends on you, right? The two options are okay. Sometimes we say ah, 101, easier and shorter, right? Más fácil y más corto, right? Nos ahorramos palabras. It depends on you, right? Rolando, the next two numbers for you, please. Uh, 102 and 103. Right, thank you, 103. All right, perfect. Thank you so much for your participation. The numbers are really important when you talk about different elements. For example, for your telephone number, it is important because when you know the numbers, you can express the information to express quantities and also to express also your age, right? And in this one, we have a model question and is this is the one. To know the information about the age, we can ask the question, how old are you? How old are you? And in that case, you talk about your age. The possible answer for this question is, as you will see in this moment, I am years old. I am years old. In the empty space, you complete with the number, the real number for you, right? The question, how old are you? And then you report. At this moment, I need, we're going to practice on this information. And I need the collaboration of one person to ask the question to me, right? The person asked the question to me, how old are you, right? How old are you, Gonzalo? Let's see, Fatima, I need your help. Necesito su ayuda, Miss Fatima del Carmen. Ask the question to me. Necesito que me formule usted la pregunta que tenemos en rosadito por ahí. Please. How old are you? All right. I am. Let's see. What, what happened? Wait. I am 50 years old. <laughs> no, 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 no. Nah, <laughs> thank you, right? No 50, come on. I look old, but not that much. Ya me veo de edad y toda la cosa, pero tampoco le llego a los 50, no todavía. No, not too much experience for me. Not too much experience for me, all right? In this case, as you see, you report information. I am the number years old. That should be the correct expression. It is not okay when we say, for example, when we think in Spanish, and that is something natural, because in Spanish, we say, how do we say the age? Como generalmente decimos la edad en español? Yo tengo. Yo tengo. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. Yo tengo. Right? Yo tengo. Thank you. And in this case, translations are not so good. Because if you translate the verb tener, right, tengo, you are going to see have, the verb have, right? Uh -huh. Si usted traduce ese verbo, le va a decir el diccionario o el traductor, le va a decir uh -huh. el verbo have, tener, pertenencia. Y nosotros lo asociamos con español, va, yo tengo tantos años, ah, I have. Eso uh -huh. es lo primero que pensamos, porque queremos asociar el español con el inglés, 
y en este caso no es lo recomendado. Es mejor aprender el equivalente de la idea en español, ¿verdad? Si yo digo, yo tengo, ¿cuál es el equivalente o cómo expreso esa idea en español? En inglés, sorry, I am uh, years old, ¿verdad? Usted incluye su número, el número de su edad, y lo reportamos utilizando el verbo to be. ¿verdad? La traducción en este caso no va a ser 100% confiable, así que no les crea mucho, ¿verdad? Porque el traductor no le va a entender el contexto y la estructura requerida. En ese caso decimos, I am, ¿verdad? And you report on the age, ¿verdad? Usted reporta la edad. We are going to practice this information and you can report your age, right? If you want to mention the real information, nice. If you want to make it up, If you want to invent it, do it, right? Yo le voy a hacer la pregunta, how old are you? Y usted me responde, I am, and you include the number. Si gusta, me dice la edad real, si usted se siente cómodo, no hay ningún problema. Y si no, dígame, otro, si no, dígame otra edad, otro número. La idea es la práctica. Yo no voy a ir a chequear si el due es cierto, ajá, fecha de nacimiento. No, nah, don't worry. The, the idea is the practice. All right. At this moment, let's begin. I, I begin asking questions to you. And I am going to ask, let me see. Uh, let's see, the, where is one person? All right. Perfect. I begin with the youngest, con quien yo creo que es el más joven de la sala. All right. Hey. Gracias, gracias. Ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> Very, thank you so much. Luis Daniel, tell me, how old are you, mister? I am 23 years old. Thank you. Thank you. 23 years <laughs> old. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Let's see. I continue asking, Josue Abraham Lopez, tell me, how old are you? I am 29 years old. 29 years old. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I continue asking and now on the ladies, right? If you don't feel comfortable, tell me other number. Yo sé que a veces no es adecuado preguntarle la edad a las señoritas, pero por cuestión de práctica, lo voy a hacer. Si usted gusta, dígame otro nombre, otro número. No problem, right? No problem. Let's see. Uh, Mariana Dolores Moreno, tell me, how old are you? Uh, I am 44 years old. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Nice information. Giselle Hernandez, tell me, how old are you? I am 30 years old. Thank you. Thank you for the information. Indira Hernandez, what about you? How old are you? I am 35 years old. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And Madeline Beatriz Moran, how old are you? I am 21 years old. 21. All right. Thank you. So you are the youngest, probably, right? Uh, Daniel is 23. Madeline is 21, the youngest. Right? Tenemos alguien más joven. Thank you. Thank you so much. Perfect. Madeline, let's continue with the practice. Select one classmate and ask the question. Ahora le voy a dar la oportunidad también que usted formule la pregunta, how old are you? Pero seleccione a alguien de la clase. Ve ahí el listado de las personas y escoja, ve ahí los nombres y diga tal persona. Por ejemplo, Juanito, Juanito, how old are you? And Juanito is going to answer, right? Choose a person, Madeline, and ask the question. Tito, how old are you? I am uh, 48 years old. Thank you, Tito. Next person and the question, Tito. What's uh, next person, person? Eric yes. Vanessa, how hmm? old are you years old? How old are you? <laughs> how old are you? Erika uh, Vanessa, I guess, yeah. right? Uh -huh. yes. Erika Vanessa. Hmm? I am 25 years old. Thank you so much, Erika. Thank you so much. Incorrect answer. Thank you. Thank you. Erika, choose the next person and ask the question, please. Continuamos con actividades. Coge un compañero de la sala y le hace la misma pregunta. How old are you? Yo, Mara Alejandra, how old are you? I am 
26 years old. Thank you. Continue with the practice, please. Marlon Napoleon. Mm -hmm. I am 42 years old. All right. Marlon, select the last person for this practice, right? Choose one person Orlando, and that is the Orlando last one. You. Thank you. I am 50, 52 years old. Thank you, Rolando. Mm. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. We continue with more practice. Thank you so much. Good job, everyone. And thank you for participating. At this moment, we are going to have some information in the speaking practice. Remember, the first part is to have some practice to get some information, right? To make a review about the contents that you already know. And at this moment, we check on information. Sorry. Take a look at the picture. There is a boy, and we have the boy's information, personal information, name. Luis, last name, Ramirez, the age, 15 years old. That is an abbreviation, right? I utilize an abbreviation, right? Years old, por el inicio de las palabras, right? The Y, oh, years old, 15 years old. And I have the phone number 77, 50, 64, 89, right? That is the phone number. That is fictional, please. Don't call my friend Luis, right? Don't call, don't call him, right? Don't call my friend. Right? El número es ficticio, no vaya a creer que le estoy dando un dato real ahí de mi amigo Luis, no le, no le vaya a llamar, por favor. All right, at this moment, check on the questions. So we continue practicing on just no questions. Take a look at this one and I need your collaboration. Check on the question and check on the personal information. The question, is his name Pablo? Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Tell me, I listen to you. No it, isn't. No, no, it isn't. no, it isn't. No, it isn't. What is the real name? His no, name is... His name is... Luis. Luis Ramirez. Right, no, thank you. Thank you. No, it is not. Thank you. Check on the next question. Is his last name Ramirez? Yes. Yes, yes it is. Yes, yes. It, is. it is. It is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It is, thank you. Yes, it is. Check on the next one. Is he 28 years old? No, 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 he, no, it is. no he isn't. In this case, we no, were talking about the age, right? No, he isn't, right? Check, take a look at the difference. When you talk about the name, talk about the last name, you can mention it. When you talk about the age, we need the personal pronoun he, right? Double check on that one. Ahí chequeemos y tratemos de recordar cuando hablamos nombre, aunque el nombre le pertenece a alguien, estamos hablando de algo. Por eso utilizamos el pronombre it. Last name, we use the same it, right? When you talk about the, the age of a person, in this case, we use the personal pronoun he, she, you, or I. Para la edad, ¿verdad? Aunque la edad también es un dato, un número, ¿verdad? Pero en este caso sí sería, hablamos, yes, he is. Si recuerda cómo reportamos la edad, I yes, am. Right? I am. I am. Le dije 50, ¿va? I am 50, ya ni me acuerdo de la edad. I am 50 years old, right? You report the information in that way. I am 50 years old. He is. Uh, 15 years old, right? Ahí si utilizamos el pronombre he or she para la persona. En este caso, the answer is, uh, is he 28 years old? No, he isn't, right? No, he, no, he isn't. isn't, right? What is the correct information? He is 15. I need your help. Five years old. No, in this case, 15, 15. He is 15 years old. Yes. Thank you. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now, check on the next one. Is his phone number 77, 51, 65, 
89? Yes, it is. No, it isn't. It is not. No, it is not. It is not. No, no, it is not. Thank you. No, it is not. Thank you. No, it is it not. not. All right. And I choose one person at this moment to participate. And let me see. I need Ruth Stephanie's. I need your help. We have the answer. The cell phone in the question is not the real one. What is his phone number? His phone number <coughs> is... Bless you, right? Bless you, everyone. Thank you. Check on the microphone. Thank you so much. Checking in su micrófono, por favor. Y por cierto, salud para la persona. Right? Thank you. Thank you. All right. What is the correct answer, Miss Ruth? His phone number is? His de dos phone en dos number números. is? 77? <laughs> yes, 77, please. 50, uh, 64, 89, <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Perfect, 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 perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much. Perfect. Nice no, job. No, no, nah, nah, that is that is for, for the last week. 7750. Oh. Nah, 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 nah. Nah. That is for the last week. Come on. Eso nos la de uno en uno. Now, second week, more information, right? Ya tenemos más conocimiento. Ya nos vamos de dos en dos. 77, 50, 64, 89. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. At this moment, we are going to do something similar in a speaking practice. We are going to work in breakout rooms and we are going to, uh, to create a new identity, right? Vamos a trabajar algo similar, pero en, las, en el breakout room. Usted va a adoptar una nueva identidad, not a real name, right? Not your real name. En este caso, no su nombre real. Usted se va a inventar otro, right? Other name. For example, my personal identity, Pablo, my last name, probably Lopez, right? That is not my real information, right? The age, me voy a inventar una edad, 30, no, 25, 25 years old. That is not my real, my real age. And I create a phone number. 74, 14, 98, 62, right? I create a new identity at this moment, right? That is what we are going to do. And what is the intention of this one? We are going to confirm on information at this moment. You are, we are going to create questions similar like, are you Pablo, right? And I am going to listen and I say, hey, yes, I am. Is your last name uh, Perez? Ah, no, it is not. It is Lopez, right? And I exchange information. Let me show this to you, right? New identities, we work in pairs. We use the chat, right? But not at this moment, not at this moment. When we create the breakup rooms, todavía no manden la información en el chat, sino hasta que estemos en las mini salas, porque en las mini salas el chat se queda individual en lo que ustedes están trabajando, all right? And you're going to include a new name, a new last name, a new age, and a new phone number. Usted se va a inventar una nueva identidad para usted, right? Su compañero va a ver su nueva identidad en el chat, y le va a hacer preguntas similar to the questions in the previous exercise. Similar a lo que hicimos en el ejercicio. Para chequear si su compañero le entiende la pregunta. ¿verdad? Si digamos, yo puse en mi, no, en, mi, en mi nueva identidad, Pablo, y el compañero, por ver si yo le entiendo la pregunta, me dice, ¿Are you Joaquín? Mi nueva identidad es Pablo. Entonces yo tengo que responder, uh, no, right? Is your name Joaquín? No, it is not. Right? Y yo doy la información real. It is Pablo. La, de la nueva identidad, yo doy el dato. Imagine the next one. Imaginemos que yo tengo mi, nuevo, mi, nuevo, mi nueva identidad. Mi apellido es López. Right? Y en el chat ya lo compartí con mi compañero. Mi compañero va a ver el chat. Right? Y va a formular la pregunta. Is your last name López? Ahí va, ahí va a depender de cómo usted quiera formular la pregunta. Para, para ver si la persona la entiende. Or no. 
right? Is your last name Lopez? I listen, right? Yo escucho y de acuerdo a mi nueva identidad, yo respondo. Ah, yes, it is, right? Are you, and then we continue with the age. Continuamos después con la edad. Are you, imagine I create the information for uh, 41. Imaginémonos que yo dije que tengo 41 en mi nueva identidad. La persona me pregunta, are you 20 years old? ¿Verdad? La persona ya vio el dato, pero me quiere preguntar para ver si yo le, de verdad comprendo la pregunta. Are you 20 years old? The answer, ah, no, I am not. I am 41. ¿Verdad? Yo incluyo el dato real. We work on this one and then we continue working like that and then we check on the telephone number. ¿verdad? El número de teléfono eh, para que no se preocupe de dar un dato real acá y que su compañero o que vaya a quedar grabado y alguien más pueda acceder. Por eso estamos utilizando una identidad falsa, pero la práctica del idioma inglés nos queda de cómo formular preguntas. Ese es el objetivo, right? And then you ask some questions to make confirmation questions. That is yes and no questions. And you are going to confirm your classmates new identity. That is how we work at this moment. Is there any question about the activity? Questions, questions about the activity? Any doubts? Alguna no duda question. de lo que vamos no a hacer? Question. No questions. All right, perfect, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Let me create the breakup rooms and we can start working on this information. Let me see. All right, let me create on this, uh, on this breakup rooms and we continue learning at this. Let me check on this one before we open the room. All right, I will send the invitation and please join and start asking questions to your classmates. Thank you so much and let's do our best. Mr. Tito, hello, hello. Mr. Tito is not here. What about Claudia? Claudia, Claudia, hello, hello. Miss Claudia, hello, hello. Hello, hello, how are you doing? Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you doing? ¿Cómo vamos con la práctica? Bueno, al menos yo estaba escribiendo mi información en el chat para que ella pueda verla y pueda hacerme preguntas. Excellent, excellent. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. All right, thank you. Perfect, perfect. Continue working and remember we ask questions with are you, 
¿verdad? Recordamos, hacemos preguntas que inicien con are you para confirmar la información del compañero, right? Or is okay, your name? Teacher. Thank you, thank you. Thank okay. you. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hello, hello. Yeah. Uh, is your name Laura? Hello, hello. Check on the microphone, Miss Alejandra. Caroline is asking you a question. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes, it is. Yes. My name is Laura. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Continue asking, thank you so much. Is your life like your life there? It is my name is a number to ask me. Y el número de teléfono, mi for number. Esos tres. Quiero ver qué más nos falta. Eran cuatro o tres. No, my life. Late. Vamos a poner Benito. El otro es. Ayan. La edad. La edad ya está. Ayan. Ayan. 22. Um, Year old. Sería. Is. He. 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 She. She. Is. O. O lo de la edad. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. In this case, hello, hello. In hola, this case, hola. let me help you. Hola. In this case, when you talk about the age, the question should be, are you? Recordamos que estamos haciendo preguntas directas con la persona que estamos hablando. En el ejercicio que les mostré el muñequito, si sí preguntamos acerca de él, va, es él, o sea, es él de, de cierta edad. Pero acá, como es directa la interacción, nuestra pregunta debería ser, Are you, y usted ocupa el número tal vez que su, que su compañera le va a proveer, ¿verdad? Si usted quiere, o sea, le pregunta tal cual, ¿verdad? como adivinando el nombre, si por ejemplo le dice 30, usted puede decirle, Are you 30 years old? Y esperando que la persona le responda afirmativamente porque usted le dijo el número tal cual la edad. Si no, usted cambia la información y al cambiarla quiere decir que su compañero va a responder, su compañera va a responder de una forma negativa siempre teniendo en cuenta que, que nos inventamos la edad 30 ¿verdad? yo le pregunto ¿Are you 21 years old? entonces yo veo el dato y como yo dije que tenía 30, la respuesta sería negativa, no I am not ¿verdad? y así vamos a tratar de, de preguntarlo en este caso, for the name you say Is your name? Is your last name? Are you? Para la edad, ¿verdad? Are you? De, mencionamos el número. Years old. And for the last one, is your phone number? Is your phone number? Y le mencionamos el número de teléfono. Y la persona responde afirmativo o negativamente. All right? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much. Continue working. Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. Okay. Entonces sería is your name uh, your name is Valeria García. Is your name is, is your, your name, name is your name Valeria? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes I am. Yes in I this am. Case, in this case, when you say is your name, ¿verdad? como le están preguntando si es su nombre, estamos hablando de algo. En ese caso podríamos decir yes it is. Yes it is. Okay. Yes it is. Perfect. Thank you. Continue working. Nice job, people. Your number phone is seven eight four three two one one one. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Just double checking on the question. Remember the order. Recordemos el orden de la pregunta. Is your. Yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. Porque creo que. Uh, exactly. Change on the order. Recordemos que hay una inversión de los elementos cuando hacemos preguntas de sí o no. Is your phone number? And then we continue. Thank you. Seventeen. 
My cell phone number is 12, 15, 25, 15. Thank you. Thank you. Continue practicing. Hello, Erika. She's on your classmate. She's asking you. Hello, hello, Miss Erika. Hello, hello, Erika. Can you listen to us? Puede escucharnos, Erika? All right, perfect, perfect. Uh, continue with the interaction. Recuérdese continuar con la interacción. Su compañera le formuló una pregunta. Escuchamos y tratamos de responder adecuadamente. All right? Thank you, thank you. Continue with the practice. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Last name, last name. Forty eighty nine. Hi. No, it's isn't. Yeah. It's you. Are you twenty nine years old? No, I am not. Cute. Volvimos, creo. Uh -huh. mm, nice job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How are you doing? Excellent in the practice. So, so. Hey, so, so. so, so. <laughs> no, you're doing excellent. I listen to you and you're doing excellent. Thank you. Continue working hard. Thank you. Thank you. Les escuché y estamos bien. Sigamos formulando preguntas. Thank you. Thank you. Tres puntitos. ¿Sí? No. Hi. <risa> Hola. Ten, ten. Sí, hay unos Muchas tres puntitos gracias. y ahí creo que le da eh, para ver el chat. De verdad. Donde, no. en una esquinita donde dice más. No, es que aquí en la esquina nada más me sale. Estamos en soporte técnico. <risa> no, no problem. Technical support, no problem. <risa> That's fine. Le hago la pregunta a ella porque yo no logro ver el chat. Ah, no problem. No logro All ver right. el chat. No problem. Change on something. Cambie. Tratemos de utilizarlo entonces con el, el, el nombre propio. Tal, tal vez, ¿verdad? Veamos el nombre de la persona y formulemos las preguntas. Por ejemplo, si ya vemos que está trabajando con Claudia y con Ruth, hágale pregunta. ¿Are you Ruth? Right? Is your name Ruth? Y ella que le responda. Si gusta, para obtener una respuesta negativa, cámbieles el nombre, ¿verdad? Solo por cuestión de práctica. Is your name Patricia? No, it isn't. Right? And you continue practicing. Thank you. Gracias. Thank you. Right. Thank you. How, old, how old are you? In this case, Miss Tira, just uh, the last feedback. En este caso, si le preguntamos, how old are you? Sería una pregunta eh, en general, ¿verdad? Usted piensa, oh, en una, sí. piensa en una cifra para ver si le adivina, ¿verdad? Ese es el objetivo para confirmar. La pregunta sería, are you? Me incluye el número y le dice years old. Are you 34 years old? Y la persona le va a responder, yes, I am. Or no, I am not. <risa> Andamos cerca. <risa> cerca. <risa> All right, perfect. We have one more minute and we continue practicing. Thank you. Thank you. Is his last name? Hi, teacher. Hello. 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 Hello.
Welcome, teacher. <laughs> okay. Hello. How are you doing with the practice? Excellent. Finish. Excellent. Excellent. Yes. 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 In, in progress. In, in, in progress. progress. Ah, that's fine. In progress, right? I want to listen to you, right? So you can formulate a question and one person answers, please. Thank you. Oh, okay. 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 And, uh, Sophia, how are our how yes. old are you? Uh -huh. I am uh, I am 20 years old. All right, thank you. Thank you, so, thank you. Is your first name Sophia? Is your first name Sophia? <laughs> Answer? Yes, it is. No, it isn't. What is the answer for that question? Is your you... first... Excuse me. No, no, that's okay. Continue. Ask a question. Go ahead. Okay. Are you uh, 24 uh, years old, Roberto? No. Uh, it, it, it is no. not... No, I am not. When you talk about the age, no, I am not. No, I am not. Okay. No, I am not. All right. Thank you. Okay. Luisa, uh, excuse me. Uh, Miss Lane, Excellent. is Luisa your first name? No, no, it isn't. All right. Thank my, you. My Continue. name is. Luisa. Excellent. Thank my you. Hey. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. You're doing nice. Thank you so much for the time in the practice. We we'll return to the main room. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, teacher. How old are you? Okay. Ya vamos, ya vamos, ya vamos. Welcome, welcome everyone. Thank you so much for the time in the practice. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate your effort really much. You are doing really nice. It was difficult for me to know the names. Entraba y me decían otros nombres. Yo veía su número, nombre de usuario y ya no entendía quién era qué. Escuchaba Laura and something. That's fine. Thank you. But perfect. Thank you so much on your practice. Perfect, perfect. Just before we leave, I am going to check on the attendance. So when you listen to your name, I need your collaboration to say, uh, to make a verbal confirmation that you are here. Mr. Tito, is there a question? Tengo una, una interrogante en cuanto a la, al título. Uh -huh. eh, que a veces... Eh, aparece in is eh, in in our eh, is our eh, mm -hmm. en estos títulos no sé cómo pronunciar por ejemplo este is our is it, mm -hmm. o in is miss o in, in our is también es otro de los títulos entonces the pronunciation, please. Y me estoy confundido cuál es en realidad para señorita y señora. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Good question. Let me see. Let me check on this one. Sería con los títulos, ¿verdad? Señor, señorita y todos esos. All right. Let me check on this one. In a quick view. When you talk about the pronunciation of this one, and let me see. When you talk about the boy, right? Si hablamos de los títulos de las personas, Mr. is only for boys, right? Si hablamos de títulos, Mr. only for boys. In this case, we have for ladies, ¿verdad? Si tenemos títulos, eso me estaba preguntando, ¿verdad? Yeah, los títulos sí, de las personas. Thank you. And when you talk about the ladies, we have three different titles. For example, we have Miss. We have the other. Pronunciation is the same. Miss. And the last one, Mrs. Oh, Mrs. Okay, okay. Right? Miss, Miss, Mrs. 
The first miss is for a person or for the lady not married, not married, not married, right? No está casada la, la persona. Mm -hmm. en, este, en este caso, ¿verdad? la chica no está casada. En ese nos referimos con miss y lo utilizamos con el apellido. Mm -hmm. Si utilizamos el siguiente miss, pronunciación la misma, va the spelling, su escritura es diferente. En este caso hablamos de alguien. No hacemos referencia si está casada o si no está casada. Sería como el título neutro cuando lo escribimos para nosotros los varones no meternos, no comprometernos. Mm -hmm. Decirle como señora o señorita. ¿va? No problem, right? In this case, miss is the neutral one. And the last one, misses, the last one is when the lady is married. Ahí cuando la persona, la señorita, oh. la mujer sí está casada, nos referimos a, a esta persona como misses. 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 Uh -huh. Ah, That's teacher, be teacher, uh -huh. entonces, en cuanto a la pronunciación, ok, en, en, la, en la primera, in our, in uh -huh. our, uh -huh. eh, este, esa se refiere a señor. Mister. Mister, okay. Mister. Uh -huh. Y luego, Miss, eh, correcto, señorita, uh, y the next, este, también es Miss, pero ¿cuál es la diferencia? ¿La diferencia es en la escritura o en la pronunciación también? Solo en escritura, solo okay. en escritura okay. y en el contexto. Pronunciación sería lo mismo, right? In this one, Miss, Miss, right? Oh. Tendremos una próxima semis. Right? Okay. En okay. este caso, la pronunciación es la misma, pero la escritura es diferente y el contexto es diferente. Como le mencionaba, el primero que tengo acá, number one, número uh -huh. uno, es cuando la, la chica está soltera. Right? Uh -huh. El número dos, pronunciación la misma, escritura diferente, contexto diferente y ahí es neutral. Ahí no hace referencia, nos quitamos el elemento casado o no casado de encima, right? Correct, Pronunciation correct. is the same, miss. And the last one, misses. In that case, the person is married. En este caso, la, la, la señorita, ¿verdad? Ya está casada. Las okay. chicas tienen tres títulos, nosotros solo uno, right? Discrimination. Es. Es que Dios uh, nos favoreció a uh, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Gracias. All right. You're welcome. All right. Thank you. Perfect. Now, let's check on the attendance before we leave. When you listen to your name, please uh, tell, uh, mention a verbal confirmation. You are here. Alejandra Gabriela Perez. Present. Thank you. Uh, Ana Guadalupe Fuentes. Present. Thank you. Azucena Enriquez. Present. Thank you. Brian Joal Morrodas. Brian Joal Morrodas, not at this moment. Carolina Abigail Vasquez. Present. Thank you. Cindy Tatiana Vasquez. Cindy Tatiana Vasquez. Not at this moment. Cira Berfalia Aguilar. Present. Thank you. Uh, let's see, Claudia Elizabeth Martinez. Poison teacher. Thank you. Erika Vanessa Marroquín. Poison. Thank you. Esmeralda Janet Méndez. Present teacher. Thank you. Evelyn Abigail Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you. Fátima del Carmen Amaya. Present. Thank you. Uh, Giselle María Hernández. Present. Thank you, Indira Nirvana Hernández. Present, teacher. Thank you, Ana Ivania Guevara. Ana Ivania Guevara, not at this moment. Josué Hernán Maravilla. Josué Hernán Maravilla, not at this moment. I continue. Josué Abraham López. Present. Thank you so much. Carla Guadalupe Pacheco. Present. Thank you. Carla Lizette Mendez. Carla Lizette Mendez. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good night. Good night. Luis Daniel Rosa. Luis Daniel Rosa. 
Teacher, se le congeló la imagen. All right, no problem. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Madeline Beatriz Morán. Madeline Beatriz Morán. Present right. teacher. Thank you. María José Sandoval. María José Sandoval, not at this moment. Mariana Dolores Moreno. Present. Thank you. Thank you, Daniel, for your confirmation in the chat. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Marlon Napoleón Fuentes. Present. Thank you. Rina Estela García. Present. Thank you. Rolando Guzmán Revelo. Present, teacher. Perfect. Ruth Stephanie Meléndez. Present. Thank you. Sandra Marisol Campos. Present. Thank you. Present. Tito Alberto Hernández. Present. And Xiomara Alejandra Marroquín. Present. Thank you so much. All right, everyone. I appreciate your presence in the video conference. Thank you so much, so much for your punctuality. And you could remember to continue working in the platform, right? Good night and a good day tomorrow. Good See you, everyone. Good night. 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 Good night.